and we are joined by a very crazy bird that can do all sorts of neat things. You're going to be amazed. Oh my gosh! First, parrots. What do you know? What do people love about parrots? Um, well, of course, they love how beautiful they are. They love how intelligent they are. They love how diverse they are. And they, they're, what is there not to love about them? How long have you been, uh, you know, doing things with birds? I've been working with parrots for 17 wow. years plus. Um, actually, since I was seven years old, if you want to count little kids, you know, but uh, professionally since 1996. All right. Yeah. And there, besides, so at PetCon, you can come and check this out, Michelle and Ben, but also there's a parrot, you, you have a parrot thing coming up later on in the month. It's actually in October, October. The very first weekend of October is Seattle Parrot Expo. Like Seattle Tacoma PetCon, we're also free. But the focus is on parrots and all the connections parrots have in the world. As a matter of fact, parrots, we think, are the best ambassador to really address global climate change and environmental use. So it's awesome stuff. Where is the parrot? Uh, where's the, where is it held? Ah, the Seattle Parrot <laughs> Expo will be held in Auburn at the Auburn Events and Community Center. And it's going to be a lot of fun there at Les Gove. And even parrots are going to be flying overhead outside as well as over 25 species indoors. Wow, that is a lot of parrots. And you guys, so you can come to PetCon, get your fill of reptiles, dogs. I'm sure there's cats here too. And parrots and other, you know, other birds as well. And Michelle, I was talking with uh, Keith earlier. His mother is looking for a bungee. And so I was telling, you know, but an English bungee. So it, it's a, it's a, uh, you know particular bird she's looking for. So tell Keith he should make the trek over today because <laughs> yes. it is free and check out the bird, get some background information for his mom. Yes, as a matter of fact, I have two parakeets at home, a green one and a blue one, and they're American budgies. <laughs> the big budgies, those Amer English budgies, are here though, right here in Washington State. So if you want one, we've got one. Wow. Now this parrot can do some tricks, we're told. Yeah. What can this parrot do? Well, did you know that one of the biggest tricks a parrot can ever do is doing exactly what she's doing right now, which looks like pretty much nothing, but it's a really big deal for a parrot, and that is to sit on you. Believe it or not, just sitting on me is a big deal because, let's face it, I'm predator, she's prey. But she does a few more tricks besides that, like, say, talking. Don't you want a parrot to talk? Sure. Okay, so she says hi. So can you say hi? Hi. And she also <laughs> likes to say hello. Can you say hello? You say, hello, maybe, or maybe she gets camera shy, you never know. With these guys, we always ask them for the behavior, and if they want to do it, great, and if they don't want to, they don't have to. But one of the things she really likes to do is she likes to roller skate. Have you guys ever seen a parrot roller skate? No, we no. have not. No, and if you go to the rainforest, you're not going to see one roller skating there either. But here, these guys are so smart and so adaptable to a changing environment, we like to show you why and how a parrot can roller skate. So this parrot is crazy about roller skating. So let's see if we can get her to do that. She's like, I don't know about that camera. See, our eyeballs are nice and big about that, but that's okay. Let's see if we can get her going here and get a little bit of target training, get her a little bit rare. They're like, hey, the camera doesn't matter. Let's see if we can get some roller skating action going on. Can you come over this way, Jess? Good job. Camera's okay. There we go. Got her moving away from it. There we go. Come on, Jess, you can come right here, right here. This is called luring a little bit here. Come on over. Good job. And not only can she roller skate, but she says that she can also play basketball at no the way. same time. Yeah. So in this case, we have a roller skating, basketball playing parrot. So we're going to try to show you that. And I have one other parrot to bring out to show you real basketball playing if we have a moment. But here we go. Can you put that away? She's going to dunk it on skates. Oh, Ta-da! Yeah. Good job. And she can turn around on those skates. We're going to bring her over this way and see if she can do it that way too. Ready, set, go put it away. Yeah, check it out, you guys. Wow! <laughs> this is a behavior that's two, two not... Dunks. Is it cool? <laughs> yeah. So obviously these guys in the wild, they can't scoot their legs like that. So I like showing roller skating because with parrots, they're very adaptable to changing environments and they want to live around us. As a matter of fact, she's actually doing a rebound. Take a look. <laughs> she just grabbed, <laughs> she did, she just grabbed the ball and is doing it again. again you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that. <laughs> so this is Jessie, a blue and gold macaw. <sighs> And she is 17 years old, but I have a really good friend of mine. Her name is Cassie, and Cassie is 27 years oh my old. Woohoo! And this is her right here. And Cassie says she <laughs> likes to take that basketball dunking thing and go the next step up. And as you can tell, she doesn't care about cameras at all. That's because she's been on Animal Planet, this little girl. Oh, wow. So you ready? Can you show these guys how you play some basketball? First thing in the morning, go for it. Can you play it? <laughs> <laughs> That's right, now dunk it. She goes, what? No! Come 
on, put it away right here. Can you put it up there like that? Up in here, up there? And oh, <laughs> she's saying I'm I, I'm old. I've got some some. Uh, oh, you're not gonna do it all. Well, she's she's gonna hop. She knows how to dribble, boy. She's I know. Dribbler. She's really good at it. Keep Here it away. We go. Oh. Yeah! Oh, she did it. Good job. <laughs> and the last thing that everybody loves in the audiences with her is that she likes to scoot. So we have this little scooter oh, she has, here. She has a scooter. She know. has a scooter, and we you put this like this. You have to be kidding me. And while she's eating, here we go. Let's set it up for her and see if she scoots for everybody here. Oh, you ready? This is much easier to train a parrot to do because one foot's just standing while the other foot is walking. So this is actually not too difficult to train. <laughs> Come on, go for it. <laughs> Good job! Uh, but the biggest thing that's a class act about parrots is how acrobatic they are. They're actually known more for their tree climbing skills and things like that than actual flying. They're a little bit better at that kind of thing. So we're going to ask Cassie to come away from the edge of the table there. We're going to ask her to do a little somersault here. Can you do that? She's like, I'm thinking about it. I'm yeah, still so chewing. Thinking. Yeah, can you do it? Oh, look at that, Ben. <gasps> Ta-da! <laughs> and then last but not least, this is what they do out there in the rainforest. They jump all around and do all kinds of crazy flips. Like that. We're going to sign this bird up for the Olympic team. That's right. Gymnastics, right? Here. Look at that. Ta-da! Uh, and the distance. The landing. And yeah. that's Cassie, okay. the black-capped kaiik, which is another type of parrot. <laughs> so, well, you guys, this is some of the fun you can have. If you come out to PetCon, this is just some of the fun you'll have. So Michelle, Ben, I definitely think you need to be here. Uh -huh. I think so too.